back to my channel. It's your girl Biscuit. How is everybody doing? Hopefully you all are having a wonderful day wherever you are. So today's video is going to be a collaboration video with my good sis, the Nail Genie SC. So the Nail Genie reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in collabing with her. And of course, of course, hands down, I was like, yes, absolutely. So we decided that we were gonna do uh, some astrology nails and we were going to incorporate our signs. So I am a Capricorn and my birthday is December 26th. So it's actually coming up in about a month or so, right? And my good sis, the Nail Genie is a Scorpio. So I will go ahead and put some photos in this video right here of Jeannie's nail set she did an amazing job and she even drew a scorpion okay man talk about talent I'm just trying to get on the train with doing all this nail art so Jeannie you knocked these out the park they are so beautiful and I love the fact that you conveyed your birthstone in your set as well so of course with us doing astrology nails um, I am a Capricorn and my um, birthstone actually has two. However, um, they always say the birthstone for December is blue, which is like a topaz. But if you are a Capricorn, it is really garnet. So I will also put a picture of what the stone look lo looks like. So the garnet stone is more of a red ruby color stone. So I decided that I would go ahead and use that color as my inspiration for today's set. So as you can see, I have already started to apply my base coat and the base coat that I am using is from Vanalisa today. So I kind of went back and forth showing you all different stuff that I was planning on using during this video. I just pretty much pulled out a bunch of items that I wanted to use on the set. Hopefully it made it to the set to be used. If you know, you know, you pull out everything and only use... <laughs> You pull out about 10 items and only use about five. So if you know, you know, okay? Um, so I decided to go with this Nail Reserve uh, nude kind of Italian latte color for my base. Um, I figured that it would go really nice with the ruby color or red colors that I was going to use in this set. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one coat and put these in the lamp. Okay, so here I am about to uh, use this white attic by Nail Reserve and I'm going to also put down some top coat because I kind of wanted to do like a white milky marble but um, <laughs> as you will see I ended up not using this so this is why I was saying you know you pull out a bunch of items that you have an idea of what you want to do but when you actually put it on the nail it's like oh no I'm not liking it so much and whatnot so you will see as the video goes on that I ended up changing my mind on this especially when I marbled with the red because then it was looking pink and I was like no ma'am <laughs> so trust me when I say I kind of went through a bunch of everything trying to figure out what I wanted to do because I really went in this with an open mind and really did not have any plans on what I was going to do on any of my fingers so you will see that and then I'm going to get rid of that and then start over
here is where I am going to begin my marble and this is the part where I was saying how it looked pink when I ended up doing the marble but I don't know why I didn't think about this before I even decided to add the whites but of course, you know, it's a trial and error. We kind of just go through it with the motions and we just trying to think of what would look pretty together. So yeah, that was my mistake. So I ended up taking that out and not using the white because it made it pink. So you will see that here shortly. As you can see I was trying to kind of uh, give it that marbled effect but I kind of wasn't liking how this was looking and then I was like okay well let's add some foils right so here I am taking my tweezers just picking apart the foil just so that way I wouldn't have one big piece of foil on the nail so I ended up adding these before I cured my gel polish and um, I was like, okay, well, this looks a little better, you know, um, and I am out of frame a few times, but I will come back. Uh, I was like, yeah, this looks a little bit better, but mm, I don't know. So <laughs> you'll see what it looks like when I do take it out of the lamp and I do press the foils down because I didn't want to mess up my marble effect either. So this is still wet, which is why I am adhering the foil and then i'm going to put it in the lamp to cure it and then i am going to press it down with my finger because of the tacky layer so you see right here i'm pressing it down um just so that way it wouldn't be too bulky on the nail so here is where i discovered that yeah let's try this again without the white so I did go ahead and use all four of these reds, a little bit of burgundy as well, and I marbled these together, and this turned out perfect. So I ended up putting this marble on my thumb and my pinky. here is where I am applying my polish and again you also could use blooming gel for this effect but I kind of wanted the control over where my marble would go so therefore I did not use blooming gel also I have seen it where um, people do take um, a straw and actually um, blow on it with the straw on the nail um, I don't recommend to do this unless you are doing this on your own hands just for sanitary reasons okay um, also you could take a airbrush machine and use that but again if you are working on clients do not take the straw and blow on your clients to move the polish go ahead and just use that blooming gel or like I said if you have a small little airbrush machine you can use that as well so as you can see I was like yes I love the thumb and the pinky but this ain't cutting it for me so I was like you know what maybe let's do that marble again and let's not use the white right let's incorporate that into um, the design as far as the same colors that I use for the pinky and the thumb so you will see <laughs> in a second I was like it looks good but I just don't like the white and I don't like the gold foil so I ended up scrapping this whole entire nail and started from scratch
after I, you know, put that other nail in the lamp that I just got through working on, I was like, okay, let's visit my index finger, which is that milky white nail that you see sitting on there, which is the second nail. And I was like, okay, well, let's see what I can do to jazz this up if I'm not going to use the marble. Because I just don't want to have one milky white marble and the rest is like tan and red and stuff. So I was like, let's take these marble inks, right? I got them out. I wanted to try to use them. And uh, this is why I say reference back. Um, I have all these nail products that I want to use. And I'm like, well, maybe I just don't need to use them. So I ended up putting some of the marble inks from red iguana i use the brown the black and the ruby and i did go ahead and i poured some alcohol in another container that you're not actually seeing right here on the screen but i did go ahead and put some in another container there you go and i'm gonna go ahead and try to um marble these together so <laughs> again i was like ah oh, this is okay it's not really given like my garnets um stone but let's just see right so i kept playing around with it and i was like mm, okay i guess at first i was content with it but then i kept staring at it <laughs> you know how i was just staring at you and it's like girl now you know this ain't right this is not right so uh, i just couldn't help myself and I'm like, yeah, when in doubt, I'm going to bling you out because it just wasn't turning out the way that I wanted it to turn out. And again, I don't know what it was. It probably was just, you know, I already had did the white marble. I let that sit for so long. Maybe it wasn't tacky anymore. I don't know. So, of course, now I started over from the <laughs> from that ring finger and of course the index finger was just looking at me like yeah you don't belong in this bunch so i'm gonna need to cover you up for sure <laughs> so i was like well i'll come back to you so i was like let's go ahead and let's get this capricorn on so i'm like i want the capricorn on my ring finger so i'm gonna go ahead and adhere that with my mccart rhinestone gel So here I am, I am poking a hole through the tip of my nail so that way I can add my Capricorn charm that actually has the sign on it and it actually has the Garnet stone on it as well. So I'm gonna take some jump rings. I'm actually gonna take two and I'm going to put them on the nail and then I'm going to attach my charm. Garnet's meaning for the stone is commitment and creativity. So I definitely will say that I am very committed to anything that I do in my life, um, whether it is work related, personal related, YouTube related, relationship related, friendship related. I am a very committed person. Um, when I say I'm going to do something, I have to make sure it gets done. Um, I have to plan and make sure I get all my tasks complete. So I definitely would say that I am very committed. And as far as creativity, I mean, look, I'm going through the motions here for this creativity. <laughs> Um, but I definitely would say that I do have a creative mind. Okay, I don't only just do nails, but I do like to do um, hobbies. Obviously, I like to decorate, uh, whether it be interior design or even like messing around on my Cricut. I like to rearrange stuff, you know, to get my creative juices flowing. So I definitely would say this is very true about a, a Capricorn.
Okay, so now that I have that bling nail done and it's covered and it's staring at me like, yes, ma'am, we fit in now with the bunch, okay? I was like, let me go ahead and let's outline this Capricorn and let's add some zhuzh to this nail, okay? So um, I actually took this inspo from one of my previous sets that I used and I outlined the nail because I was trying to go for that pop art um nail when i did it in my previous video so i was like let's just do this again because i think that it would go perfectly with this so i'm gonna go ahead and use my goddess gel that i got from red iguana and i love this gel and i'm gonna go ahead and outline everything and then i'm gonna come back done with the goddess gel but then i was like oh how dope would it be to actually put this goddess gel on the capricorn so that is exactly what i did i went ahead and put this gel um on top of the letters and then i put this in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds so that way it wouldn't just seem like i had the nail outlined and i can actually incorporate the gel on top of the nail to kind of blend in with each other y'all see what i was doing here okay so I'm going to do that and I'm going to put this back in the lamp for 60 seconds. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply my top coat because I am done with this nail. Sometimes simple is best and I was like, mm, this is definitely perfect and I love it. Thank you. 
turned out so good and I was like I would do this again so now I was like well let's outline this marble with this goddess shell too let's tie this in okay we need to bring it all together so i was like let's go ahead and let's outline this pinky and then we're gonna go ahead and outline the thumb as well and that was such a great choice because it turned out really beautiful was able to see Jeannie's set and I saw that she did her sign on one of her nails and I was like let me put that on my nails too so sis I had to be like you and I thought it would be cute that we would have the same thing on our nails obviously except for it's just and you have yours in the Scorpio sign and I have mine in the Capricorn sign so I struggled a bit trying to get my Capricorn sign on my nail. However, it turned out perfect. I did have to start over, I believe twice, maybe. But after I did that, then I was like, let's go. So what you guys don't see is that um, the charm that I did adhere with my bling nail, I'm looking at that as my reference to be able to um, mark on my nails as far as what the zodiac sign actually looks like so that's why i was pausing taking some time trying to make sure that i had it right and obviously getting rid of all that extra black polish that i had on my brush so i definitely was taking my time and trying to make sure that i had it right 
so I thought that it would be really neat to look up some information regarding a Capricorn. Um, I wouldn't say that I am into astrology like that, but you know, it's always nice to hear about yourself. <laughs> So Capricorns are the 10th sign of the Zodiac and a Capricorn is also called a sea goat, which is a mythological hybrid um, between a goat and a fish. So it does also tell you uh, a little bit like what kind of person is a Capricorn and it says they are ambitious, determined, materialistic and strong. They will keep going when others would have given up 10 miles back. This, make them, this makes them great partners in life, as well as friends or collaborators. Capricorns tend to keep small circles, but are loyal and supportive of their friends and loved ones. So, a thousand percent, that is me. <laughs> so, I thought it was really nice to uh, actually read that, because it's like, who came up with this stuff, right? I mean... Again, if you are into astrology, please forgive me because I'm not really into it like that. You know, um, even though it is true and you kind of wonder like, so who came up with this? Like, did they do a study of different Capricorns? So I don't know. But it was definitely nice hearing that because it's really true, to be honest. So um, let's get back to the nail design. So as you see me struggling here. <laughs> As you see me struggling here, I'm like, oh, let's do another one. I got so confident in my first one. I was like, let's do another one in red. And then I'm like, nah, sis, you ain't got enough room for that. So I was like, okay, let's just go ahead and add my stars. So I ended up putting some stars on my nail in red, white, and I'm going to actually pull back out that goddess gel in gold so I can kind of tie everything together. great and I am definitely happy with it and it's really super pretty so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just kind of take a look at the nails side by side and I'm like yeah I think this is it so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my top coat and then we are going to put these babies on and I'm gonna show you the final look so stay tuned
with the final look. Yes, ma'am. These are super pretty, super gorgeous. Definitely giving off uh, Capricorn vibes all day, every day, okay? So I am definitely proud of this set. Again, this is definitely something I would wear and rock. So y'all know I'm gonna need to duplicate this on my other hand. And I'm sure I'm probably gonna get a lot of questions. Is that charm heavy? No ma'am and no sir, it's not, okay? You know, as a nail tech slash, um, I wouldn't even say nail enthusiast. I would just say as a nail tech, we try different things and I'm willing to wear this and some things are for people and some things aren't. So if you don't like the charm, you don't have to add it. You can take that off. You can, you know, obviously recreate this too, however you would like, but I do like that this charm is super cute and definitely adds a little oomph to the nail and uh yeah i'm super excited so thank you so much to the nail genie sc for wanting to collab together and if you haven't checked her out her information will be down in the description box make sure you also go over and watch her set as well she did a scorpio set and it's super pretty and super beautiful go over and show her some love tell her that biscuit sent you if you aren't following her already and as always, thank you all so much for watching and tuning in with me. I appreciate you all. And until next time, I will see you all in my next video. Be safe and love on your people. Bye, y'all.